when it comes to cruise missiles, the U.S. military really packs a punch. The ones we're going to look at today are huge weapons that are designed to do a huge amount of damage. But not only that, they've been designed with cutting-edge technology to achieve pinpoint accuracy. The missiles in this video are the AGM-158 JASM and the AGM-86. We're going to see what makes them so special. The AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile is an autonomous, long-range missile courtesy of military engineers Lockheed Martin. This conventional air-to-ground and precision standoff missile was conceived primarily for the U.S. Air Force. The massive 2,000-pound class weapon gives the Air Force high capability and precision in destroying immobile as well as relocatable targets. The Air Force initiated the JASM development program in the mid-90s. The program's initial contracts, valued at $128 million and $110 million, were awarded in the summer of 1996 to McDonnell Douglas, which is now Boeing, and Lockheed Martin, respectively. Lockheed Martin was chosen as the final contractor two years later. They were awarded a $132.87 million engineering and manufacturing development and full rate production phase contract later that year. This EMD contract was then extended several times by the U.S. Air Force. The first development test of the missile was successfully conducted in 2001, and the operational capabilities of JASM were then demonstrated a year later. In the same year, it proved its ability to perform in the presence of jammers in September 2002. The final development test of JASM was conducted in 2003, and the missile was cleared for meeting warfighter requirements and operational capability the same year. The JASM is a cruise missile that has excellent stealth capability using its flip-out wings and a vertical tail. A dual-mode penetrator and blast fragmentation warhead can be installed on the missile for military operation. It's 4.35 meters long and weighs approximately 1,000 kilograms. It is able to carry warheads weighing up to 450 kilograms. The missile is able to cruise at a subsonic speed, with the ability to reach targets within the range of 926 kilometers. Its J-1000 warhead is designed with a dense metal case or contains a dense metal ballast for maximum impact. The JASM has a hard target smart fuse, which can differentiate between the earth, concrete, rock, and air. The 1,000-pound class WDU-42-B penetrating warhead has 240 pounds of extremely insensitive explosive known as AFX-757 included. The standard JASM cruise missile is powered by a Teledyne J402-100 turbojet engine, and it flies automatically through a predetermined route. It does this using the onboard inertial navigation system that includes an anti-jam global positioning system and a ring laser gyro inertial measurement unit. For increased navigation, there's also an imaging infrared seeker and automatic target correlator for a high precision strike rate. Since the JASM was developed, it's been highly produced by Lockheed Martin following several extensions to the initial contract. The U.S. Air Force received the 1,000th JASM in 2020, and a $241.6 million contract for the 10th batch of production was issued. The AGM-86 Air Launch Cruise Missile, or ALCOM, is a long-range air launch standoff missile developed to give U.S. bombers the ability to launch their payload from outside the range of anti-aircraft weapons. The ALCOM came from the Subsonic Cruise Aircraft Decoy Program. This was an attempt by the Air Force to create cruise missiles that would appear similar to aircraft on enemy radar. This would steer anti-aircraft fire away from U.S. bombers. The SCAD program was scrapped in 1973, but as development progressed, the U.S. Air Force discovered that equipping the decoys with warheads was simple, and they decided to create a new weapon instead. In February 1974, the Air Force entered into a contract to develop and flight test the prototype AGM-86A cruise missile. This was slightly smaller than the later B, C, and D models. The A model didn't go into production. Instead, at the beginning of 1977, the Air Force began full-scale development of its next iteration, the AGM-86B. This greatly enhanced the capabilities of the B-52 bomber and helped America maintain a strategic deterrent during the Cold War. 
The AGM-86B was built as an extended range variant designed to reduce the distance U.S. bombers had to get to within enemy forces. This increased range meant a length of 2 meters more than the original. The B-52 was adjusted to carry a total of 20 missiles. Additionally, the AGM-86B was able to be carried internally and externally by the B-1B Lancer. The AGM-86B is 6.32 meters in length, 0.693 meters in body diameter, 3.65 meters in wingspan, and 1,458 kilograms in launch weight. It was designed to carry a 200 kiloton W-81 nuclear warhead for a distance of approximately 2,500 kilometers. For propulsion, it uses a turbofan engine and has an inertial guidance system with terrain contour matching. The AGM-86C Calcium is similar to the AGM-86B but without a nuclear payload. This model became known after its use in the 1991 Gulf War. The Calcium became operational in January of 1991 at the start of the highly public Operation Desert Storm. Seven B-52s from Barksdale Air Force Base in Louisiana launched 35 missiles at designated launch points in the U.S. Central Command's area of responsibility to attack high-priority targets in Iraq. On top of Desert Storm, Calcium has been employed effectively in combat in Desert Strike, Desert Fox, Operation Allied Force, Operation Enduring Freedom, and Operation Iraqi Freedom. The exact number of conventional AGM-86 missiles in the current U.S. arsenal is unclear, but after two decades of use without replacement, the stockpile numbers are likely low. A total of 622 AGM-86s have been converted from their original configuration since 1986. The base AGM-86C and AGM-86D have a launch weight of 1,750 kilograms, but Block 1 weighs 200 kilograms more at 1,950 kilograms. The warhead for the base C variant is a high explosive unit weighing 910 kilograms. The more modern variants have a reduced range compared to their previous iterations of 1,200 kilometers as a result of the heavier payload of conventional explosives. The final 50 missiles that were converted from the AGM-86B are known as the AGM-86D variant. The AGM-86C and D were previously based at Fairchild Air Force Base in Washington and are currently fielded at Barksdale Air Force Base in Louisiana and Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. What do you think about these cruise missiles? An effective weapon or an unethical death trap? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.